Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. Today I am going to teach you how to refund on Shein. So here are the steps. First, what you will need to do is to log in into your Shein account. Just use the email and password you entered when making your purchase. Next, what you can do is click on the message icon in the upper left corner or click on the orders and then just select the order of the items or item that you would like to return and then the order detail page will be displayed. Next, what you'll need to do is then select the items or items that you wish to return and on the left of the item that you wish to return, there is a small circle and then just click on it. Then just select the reason for return and indicate the reason for your return by selecting one of the listed options. And then just upload the picture of your item or items. Then uploading pictures is required for some of the options that you indicate in the reason for return menu. So when selecting an option for indicating the reason for your return, you will see the photos are requested when applying for return written in red. But if you do not see it, then uploading pictures is optional. Next is click the next step. So once you've clicked the next step, a text box will pop up. And just please be sure all items you wish to return have been added to the return list to avoid additional fees. And then just, you can click on OK to proceed. Then return application will be displayed. Next is to click on the refund method. So select your preferred refund method, either Shein Wallet or Original Payment Account. So selecting Shein Wallet takes about 24 hours to make your refund. That money will only be used for your next purchases and it may not be refunded back to the original payment method. And then selecting the original payment method will process your refund from 1 to 5 days to be deposited into your bank account. Next is you can click on the return method. So select your preferred return method either by your post office or UPS store. So if you select the post office, you have to click on the return using the USPS label. So if you and if you select the UPS store, you get to pick from two options which include returning by UPS label or UPS QR code. And lastly, what you'll need to do is finally click Submit. So once you click the Submit button, you will get your USPS or UPS label or UPS QR code depending on your selected return method. You will also get a confirmation of your return to your email address. And remember, you can always pause and go back to this video and follow the steps and processes at your own time. And that is all for this video and I hope this helped you and if it did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell button so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.